Doesn't it suck when you want to upgrade and go faster, but you have no idea what you want? Today, I'm going to be going over all the brand new X-Series ESCs from Castle Creations. And this is going to now update my Ultimate ESC video. And this will also be followed by an Ultimate Motor video. Now, if you guys find that interesting, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. We're going to have many more useful videos like this. And I hope it could bring you more insight. Since everyone has their own opinion, I want you to tell me what is your favorite ESC? Let me know in the comments. Whoa. Welcome back to Innovation RC. I am at my local hobby shop, RC Boca. And I thank Jay at RC Boca for allowing me to use the back bench to make this awesome little video. RC Boca Hobbies down here in Deerfield Beach, Florida. Make sure you check them out. I'm trying to find the best ESC for you, not me. I am going to give examples of, well, what these ESCs are supposed to go in and what I also use them in, in other videos that you find on this channel. This is the highest line of ESCs from Castle Creations. This is their X-Series ESCs. This is pretty much like where the buck stops, highest caliber ESC you want to put in your vehicle per size or voltage application. Without any further ado, let's hop into this right about now. Where is he? Peekaboo, there he is. Mamba Micro X2. This is gonna be the smallest of the X series family. This guy is honestly really sweet for what it is. You could run this thing up to 4S LiPo, censored. You could actually push, I would say, a good 80 amps. I pulled about 78 amps using this in one of my drag cars. Hint, hint, that is going to be a future video. But we have other applications that I use this in, such as my micro crawler, short little video up there. And it's honestly super duper smooth. It delivers power very, very nicely. It stays cold all the time. Data logging, waterproof, you cannot go wrong with this ESC. This is gonna be used in 118th, 124 applications if you can fit it. Vehicles under two pounds, you know, you could probably run a little bit more depending on your setup and voltage rating. Obviously, if you run more voltage, you're going to have to have a lighter vehicle in order to compensate the load factor. Now let's walk around the hobby shop and I will put this ESC directly on something you could put this in. Bam, if you could fit it. You could put in a Teton, Teton, Latrax, anything over there. TRX 4M, you're going to have to change the ESC and receiver because it comes in both. Mini Revo, Lozy Mini T, well that's actually the JRXT. Uh, that guy as well. Honestly, you could... <laughs> If you have one of these and you need a spare ESC, and let's say you have a rustler with no electronics, you could almost put that in there because it has a brush motor and ESC to begin with. Even then, so this ESC will push that, which is amazing. Unfortunately, we ran out, but we don't have any of the granite groms, but this would be a perfect, perfect ESC. And they actually have a combo with a brand new 10 series motor and you can run it on 4S and censored and you can make that thing do standing backflips and that would be a extremely overpowered setup but if you don't push the voltage you'll never make anything hot i guarantee it great esc this is our first little one let's hop into the next one this is actually going to be the oldest of the x series escs or at least the current lineup of x series escs that we have right here Oldest, but that does not mean anything when it comes to putting down power. Now, this ESC is still pretty small now compared to the Micro X. It's not too far off, but it's definitely a little step bigger. This is going to be used in a 1 8 scale buggy. <laughs> yeah, I'm already jumping over to that. You could run this all the way up to 6S. You could run that 1 8 scale buggy on 4S, and this ESC will be more than fine. You can put this in any 10th scale application like your Stampede, Rustler, Bandit. You can run a censored motor. Keep uh, Also keep in mind, before I go on regarding censored motors, all X-Series ESCs can run censored. So that's always a good thing. One vehicle I will give a quick example of that I actually ran in on the channel and I will actually have a link right up here if you guys want to check it out, is Thrust Arrow. I ran it on 5S and there was just constant RPM going out to the EDF. This guy pulled over 175 amps, constant, until the EDF blew up. And here's the short little video of it blowing up. ESC was still, well, it wasn't hot, but it was somewhat warm. So the ESC was being worked 175 amps constant, and it's on 5S. That's pushing 8th scale territory easily in something, you know, just this small, which is incredible. All right, now here we go with the little walk. I'm going to touch the vehicle that we have in this hobby shop. What this ESC can rock the world in. All right, well, I'm not even gonna touch it, but literally all these rustlers, 
slash 4x4 ultimate. This thing will do great in, let's see, Stampede, yes, slash the new Raptor. Even though that it's an extended wheelbase, a Haas would be amazing. And the motor that comes in it, you can actually bump 4S without blowing a standard 3S motor from Traxxas up. Over here, we have our Arma Horizon area. You could run this guy in a Arma Typhon on 4S safely with it being efficient. That's going to really be the heaviest thing you're going to want to run it in. It's about 8 pounds. It's an e-buggy. Um, yeah, so this is going to be your Gorgon. This is going to be like a Stampede variant. Arma Sentin, easy peasy. Granite, Amp Crush. Even though it's probably going to be a little bit heavier than your Typhon, I'm sure we could run this thing in a Mojave 4S. Looking over here, you could also put this in the Traxxas Max. I'm going to say the stock ESC, it will, uh, easily get outperformed by this guy. Being that I said, this guy could pull over 170 amps constant. This little 4S ESC will never see 170 amps constant with these connectors. So here's the thing, guys. You're pushing over 150 amps. You need to get a much better connector. So if you are going to be running higher voltage, number one, you're going to need a better connector if you're going to push not only voltage, but you also intend to see a lot of power. Let's say 170 amps constant. You need a better connector. All right. That's number two. Now we have our brand new Cobra 8. Gently places on white paper. Here we go, guys. Brand new Cobra 8 ESC. This ESC is going to be a little bit larger than your Mamba X. Now we're going to do a size comparison from smaller to bigger, bigger to bigger, bigger, then bigger, you know, so on and so forth. It's a little bit longer and damn near twice as wide. Well, now we're getting into an eight scale ESC. This guy is made for a one eight scale application, period. Now, what I did do with this ESC is put it in my Limitless. I'll have a link up there if you guys wanna see it. I put this in my Limitless and I wanted to make sure it was still able to, I don't know, rock that kind of chassis. Now, a Limitless, exactly how I had it built, was 14 pounds. It's a heavy vehicle, it's a one seven scale. So it's already outclassing what this ESC is intended for. This ESC pulled over 200 amps. It was under 110 degrees and it was asking for more in a heavier vehicle, which is just incredible. Now is going to be the time where let's say you have an Arma Typhon and let's say your ESC stopped working or you want just a little bit more oomph. This is going to be the guy that you're going to want to put in there. All right, let me do the little touchy thing real quick. Big Rock, that'd be a perfect application. Let's see, Mojave 4S, perfect application. Infraction felony, perfect, perfect application. Great, great vehicles to run it in. Now, as for this brand new, beautiful Arma Creighton 6S EXB, being that the ESC was actually bought, there's no ESC in here. Actually, let me place this in and see how perfect it's gonna fit. Let me see. And just look at that. Obviously the stock motor isn't gonna be able to reach, so you'd have to make extensions, but it just plops perfectly in any Arma 6S application. You don't have to trim this little lip right over here where normally you do with an X8S because the X8S is a little bit longer. So what I will say with the Cobra ESC, if you don't wanna be at the expense of a Mambo Monster X8S, or if you never even wanna to touch an 8S battery in your vehicle, this is going to be the ESE that will just blow your mind. Now, here we go. We have our marinized Mamba Monster X8S and a regular Mamba Monster X8S. I'm going to start with this guy right here. Now, keep in mind, they are basically virtually the same exact ESE. Only difference is this is obviously a fan on top. And over here, you see we have hoses. Now the size difference between the X8S and the Cobra 8, you guys can see it's about a quarter inch longer. Well, actually, let me move that up. About right there, top to top. Yeah, it's definitely about a quarter inch longer right there. And then with, let me just put this from side to side. It's almost the same. It's about an eighth of an inch, maybe less than that. Uh, wide, so there is a little bit of a difference, but a little bit of a difference goes a long way. This right here is the bee's knees. Mamba Monster X8 SESC has been used in many drag race and speedrun applications. Depending on the size of your vehicle, this ESC will blow your mind. You could run this up to 8S, censored, cryo drive. This here, we have seen over 300 amps constant. People have been pulling over 
15 to 18 horsepower, and that's still an understatement for this ESC. Applications I have used this beast in, ran this in the Crate and 8S, Arma Typhon 6S, uh, which was in shockwave over 130 miles an hour. This ESC takes better hits than, okay, I, I'm not gonna say that. This ESC is probably the pinnacle for drag racers, because they do appreciate higher KV motors, as I'm gonna fly over here real quick such as these guys. Now these guys are, well, they're race motors. They're super duper large, super long, high KV motors. They wind up super quick. It's going to actually choke out, believe it or not, the XLX2. This ESC, as I said, can run up to six and eight S LiPo. This is gonna be probably the best eight S replacement in let's say an X Max without taking up too much space. That's why I like this ESC. You can just throw it in an X Max, great application X Max, uh, what else? I believe this is an XRT. That would also be an amazing application. Now, what's also cool, it's not that big. One of my Typhons actually has a Mamba Monster X8S in it. This is big enough to be considered a fifth scale ESC, even though it's certainly not. And I will tell you guys, no, it's not. But you can still put this in many 1.8 scale applications like a Typhon, the brand new Big Rock. You could even do it in the Mojave 4S. Felony and Fraction, those are pretty much the basis of chassis that a lot of people like to use to drag race and speed run with. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Ooh, this looks cool. I guess I'll talk about that after. Habeo Extreme VTE2 2.0. That is actually this thing right here. You guys could see. And also you could still run it in an Arma Creighton's Hicks Now here is the X8S. We want to put it in the right way. All right, so obviously it still goes in there. Many people put this ESC in a Creighton 6S. This is probably the largest ESC or highest performing ESC you can put in a Creighton 6S unless you like extend it or do some serious, serious modifications to get an XLX2 in there. You're not getting better than this. This is where the buck stops with the Creighton 6S. If I had this vehicle right now, in which I do not, this is the brand new EXB, ready to run from Arma. This is the ESC that will be going in there if I were to get the vehicle. But as you guys can see, the length of this ESC is a little bit too long and you need to cut this little kind of ledge off. That's the only modification you need to do to uh, mount this ESC, whoop, to mount this ESC directly in there. Well, this here is pretty much the solid staple minus its bigger brother of Castle Creations. And this guy made a huge difference in the RC world, and I am very thankful to be holding one in my hands right here. Great, great ESC. Prepare to get marinized. We have our standard X8S ESC and the marinized version. Biggest difference you guys can see, well, they look completely different. Well, actually, no, they're actually very much so the same. Well, you guys can see this little fan right there and the whole mount that's bolted in with the little bolts underneath here. Well, that's not on this because chances are, if you're gonna be running this ESC, you're going to see that there are hoses and chances are, if you're running an ESC of this kind of caliper, you're gonna have a water pickup line that's going to water cool the ESC. Therefore, a fan is not needed. This ESC is exactly what I said with this one. Only difference is you could put it in a boat. Now here, I do not have this in a vehicle yet, but I do have an Easter egg of a hint. You're definitely gonna wanna hit that subscribe button because I will come out with a vehicle that is going to blow your mind using this ESC. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't have any current vehicle that actually has this ESC in it, but I am still going to show you what this will go in actually perfectly the Traxxas Spartan, over 50 miles an hour with the stock ESC. I'm sure you'll get a couple more miles an hour with this thing, just running more efficient. It's gonna be a little bit of a tight squeeze, but you can put it in a recoil too, which is basically the smaller version of a Sonic Wake. And keep in mind the Sonic Wake and the Traxxas Spartan, they are going to butt heads. They both go really fast and they're pretty much just brand competitors. Sonic Wake, Sonic Wake, that's another recoil. Oh shoot, look at that guy. Don't see those anymore. Miss Geico, I hear you can save 15% or more in car insurance. Well, unfortunately not anymore because I'm pretty sure they're discontinued. But if you could get two of these guys in there, that would be incredible. Does over 75 miles an hour, which is mind blowing on water. 75 on water is like, 150, 160 on land. That's really, really impressive. Oh, snap, here we go, size comparison. It looks to me we have about an inch additional in length, actually more than that, I gotta move it up a little. There's definitely at least an inch more in length with an XLX2 compared to an X8S. And width, let's see our width right here. 
It's about right there. And it seems to be about a quarter inch additional in width. This is whew, certainly an ESC and a half, but I'm gonna tell you why this ESC is so much bigger for obvious reasons. Power! This is the XLX2, the big brother of the Mamba Monster X8S. They say solder connections will go before the ESC. This is the biggest, baddest ESC Castle currently has. I have seen guys pull over 600 amps on 8S LiPo. That is just incredible. That is enough to jumpstart two real cars and a motorcycle at the same time. Vehicles I have driven with an XLX2. Well, this one is actually Spartans. He is my infraction V2 GT. Obviously that Corvette body is a stunner, especially with the performance that he gives out. The highest speed he has ever hit was exactly 160 on the dot. Another massive vehicle that I run this thing in is going to be Colossus. <laughs> now he is currently dual motor to ESCs, but before that he pulled two cars at the same time, over 10,000 pounds with one motor and one ESE. Actually, the big Coke can of a motor ended up desoldering. Unfortunately, I had an 1100 kV in there. I wish I had an 800. This ESE was pushing so much power to the motor. The motor lead actually desoldered, but Colossus was still capable to pull the two cars at once. Now, I actually perfected Colossus with the best towing capacity, which is approximately eight times what you guys saw in that video right over there. And we pulled a freaking school bus, over 30,000 pounds. Each ESC only pulled about 30 amps. And I was also running two 800 kV brushless motors from Castle, over 50 horsepower total, except we pulled only 20 to 30 amps in ESC. And I will have the link right up over there if you want to see Colossus pull the school bus. Applications, this big old roided up X8S can go into. So now when people drag race and speed run, they'll probably stretch a car, so they make it a little bit easier to install. You can run this in a 6S Typhon. It's not too much for it, but what I will say, it's not gonna be easy going into it. I'm sure some people will eventually put some big motor upgrades in these big rocks. It has the chassis. It actually has a Mojave chassis, a 6S Mojave chassis. This will not go in here. Way too much, way overkill. You, you don't need it. The X8S is already overkill for this. The big rock, if you intend to run 8S, you're probably gonna wanna run this if you're running a big Coke can. Other than that, the X8S already is perfect and is more than enough of an upgrade. All right, so now infraction felony. Now, oh, actually, I got that wrong. <laughs> infraction felony. Now, if you guys are doing a serious speed run and or, well, in some drag applications, that is, you really wanna use this ESC. When it comes to big motors, low KV, high speed, this is where the buck stops. Nothing else out there. I don't care if you're running 12S. Amperage gets you places. You need amperage. To get, like, you could be running 12S and push two, 300 amps. That's probably not going to be as much as 8S at 600 plus constant amps. You could put it in an X-Max. It's going to be really difficult. You're going to have to cut off a couple things. X-Max also. Uh, this is a Creighton 8S EXB, the brand new one. So it's pretty much That's the one that I have, but <laughs> ready nuts. to run. As we're on this topic, <laughs> actually, this is actually going to be perfect for this beautiful, 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 massive, massive dragster. This is a one fifth scale dragster from Primal RC. I've never seen one of these in my life and it is just absolutely beautiful. Has a custom paint job and everything. I'm gonna touchy touchy real quick. How does this come off? I think it's, yeah, okay. Let's see what's in this. Well, not much because it comes as a roller and you guys can see there are mechanical brakes on this. Look at those, like little baby Brembos with a little line. That's pretty cool. but. That's actually for the gas two-stroke version. In here, we're going to be running a massive, massive, I don't know, Coke can of a brushless motor. This is what you would want to put this darn thing in. This is at least a 30, I don't know, 30 pet. Let me try to pick it up. Yeah, no, that's probably at least 25, 30 pounds. That's without the batteries, without the electronics, without literally, uh, I don't know, the mount, uh, the wing mount with the wing, the body, like there's probably gonna be a 40 pound vehicle when, when it's done. Um, carbon fiber chassis, it's just beautiful. This is gonna be something you're probably gonna wanna, if you're running this on 8S, that is where the buck stops. Now, I'm pretty sure this guy might be running high voltage, like stupid high voltage, probably 12S or something like that. If they made the XLX2 in high voltage, 
there would be no question about it. If you're running 12S, you would also be running this. Moral of the story is like, if you're running anything stupid big, like a Baja, fit scale, you know, anything, this is, this is genuinely what you want. So that has been all the applications that we have in this hobby shop right now. And here we go, the marinized variant of the XLX2. It's called the Hydra XLX2. Literally the same difference between the X8S and the Hydra X8S. Great size for mid to large applications, perfect for just massive applications, I, I guess. So we can see it is literally identical in length, in size. It is the same ESC overall, XLX2 on the side right there. Oh, look at that. But we have little hoses right there, so your water pickup can water cool the ESC. So literally identical to the Hydra X8S. We'll do a little comparison because it's actually a little bit easier to see, you know, right there. So it's obviously the same difference between both of these guys. And, you know, this is the Hydra family. This is going to be just your standard X8S, XLX2. Everything I said regarding this, transfer it also to this, except put it in the water. Way too, way too big for that. I'm also going to say way too big. If you could squeeze this in there, I mean, it's only going to run better. But this is genuinely overkill. You really don't want to put an X, uh, I mean, an X8S Hydra or a Hydra X8S would be perfect. This is honestly just too much. I mean, even for that, you probably don't want to run two of these in the Geico. You just want to run an X8S. They have higher end boats from TFL. Um, I don't know too much about them. These are the guys you're going to want to run in those things. You really don't want to put conventional oil in a Ferrari. Well, that's going to conclude our ultimate ESC review. I hope you guys enjoyed and got a lot of information from this. And if you have a buddy that you know that doesn't really know what he wants, well, send him this video. I, it might help them out. Hopefully it does. It's really been growing on me. It's certainly overdue. And I've been wanting to make a brand new ESC review for the longest time now. And I'm so happy to finally do it. Now, if you guys found this interesting or learned something today, make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more. Now, if you guys have questions regarding this video or let's say anything else RC related, I did actually make subscriptions possible on Instagram. So let's say if you actually have questions, I made a little group on Instagram, make sure you follow Innovation RC on Instagram and I'll be sure to answer those questions. Make sure you give it a follow. I greatly appreciate that. What helps me will greatly help you out as well. And just for the record, guys, if you want any of these awesome ESCs, make sure you check out Castle Creations at castlecreations.com if you want to get your hands on any of these awesome, deadly ESCs right here. Now that'll conclude our ESC review video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Again, I really appreciate it. I appreciate every single one of you who watch. And as always, make sure you stay safe and have a good one.